Hello and welcome to Life After Gray Narcissist Divorce and welcome to the Narcissist and Word Salad. And what that is, is when the narcissist chooses to use this when you are in a disagreement with the narcissist and they choose to use this instead of go into a rage or some other thing. It's they use it in an argument to try to deflect the argument in a different direction to throw you off balance and change the subject to keep it off the subject that you were trying to discuss and throw you off into all kinds of different directions and tangents so they don't have to answer the question you were asking them. It's like a hot potato and it keeps them, you off balance. It keeps them where they always want to be, which is right and you wrong. Because Remember, they're a narcissist, and they are always right, and you are always wrong. We must always remember that. Don't forget that. Um, so, here is an example. Um, you know, you might have been, of course, if you've been with a narcissist for a very long time, then you might already be walking on eggshells and afraid to bring any kind of complaints to them anyway, because you know they do not react well to complaints. So you're like, oh, how do I bring this to them? Oh, is it worth it? Because I don't want to set them into a narcissistic rage. Oh, what do I do? So like here could be an example from my own past with the narcissist um, where a word salad was used and my particular narcissist also was and I think many narcissists also they're like an elephant and they never forget and never forgive and so that's very helpful when you're using word salad too so I came to him and I said, you know, it really kind of hurts my feelings when I make dinner and you're and the kids and I are all upstairs and dinner is ready and you're downstairs on eBay and you don't come upstairs and join us for dinner. Um, I'd, I'd really like it if you would come upstairs and join us and not wait until the food is cold. We're all sitting there waiting for you. Um, I, you know, it'd make me and the kids really happy if you would come join us. Well, what I got was a whole bunch of word salad and included in that word salad, which went on for about a half an hour, was, well, 15 years ago, you called me at work and you wanted me to come home early to help you clean, finish cleaning the house and getting ready for the Bible study because we had all these people coming over and you were cooking dinner for everyone and you were in the panic and blah, 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 blah. And then you did this and you did that. And then in 19 whatever year and blah wasn't 19 and then in 2005 you did this and then you did this and this year and then you know the kitchen sink wasn't this way and 
you get my understanding. He had a list of everything in his mind that I had ever done wrong in the entire marriage thrown out there of what a horrible person I was. So just to make me feel horrible, lower my self-esteem, and how dare I ever ask anything of him or any change in his behavior um, because I was such an awful person that I had no right to ask him to change one behavior was basically what it came down to and so you know he accomplished his mission which was he was right I was wrong um, and that I should have very low, low self-esteem because I was a horrible person because everything that I do is bad and wrong and is pretty unworthy and he is pretty much a victim because he has to suffer with such a terrible wife. So, you know, why would he be in a hurry to go upstairs and eat dinner with such an awful wife as me? So anyway, <laughs> that is my experience. Well, not my only experience, but just one example of word salad with a narcissist. So if you have ever experienced word salad with a narcissist, please leave your comments below about your experience with word salad with the narcissist. And also please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for stopping by.